Okay guys, we're out for a family adventure day today. Finally getting out to do something. And you know what's really cool about living in the Sacramento area is that just about anywhere, you're not very far from a big river. And like within 15 minutes from our house, uh, we just made a little drive over here in the middle of the city, Sacramento. Check this out, right here, boom. Amazing or what? This is just really cool. I can't believe we don't come down here more often. How come we don't come down here more often, hon? Because we don't get our hiney we'll get our stupid out of our out house of sometimes. We don't get our stupid butt But out of dad got us out today. Yay, dad. You to dad. Hey, dude. What okay. do you think? What do you think Pretty being good. here at the river? It's good for vlogging. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Vlogger Kid. And I think I'm a kid be, vlogger. And I'll be able to, Oh, there's a goose out there's a goose out there, I think. Or a duck or something. It looks like some kind of duck. That is crazy. Oh look, there's another turkey on the trail. This, these turkeys around here. When you're out here like this, I mean you would just have no idea that you're right next to the city, that you're in the city. Look at this. I mean, this is nuts. Got a trail to go on and just kind of cruising around next to the American River. Life in the city. Another thing about this American River bike trail is I think it's like 40 miles or something like that. And apparently what I've heard from some of the bikers is that it's like one of the most popular bike trails anywhere. So kind of amazing that we live close to this and we haven't really used it much. So that's something that we probably need to do more of. So this is kind of a cool place here guys that we've uh, checked out here today that we've found and you know we've been feeling like we need to do a little bit of Q&A kind of stuff and so we're gonna hit a few maybe a couple Q&A questions today this looks like a good spot what do you guys think is this a good spot or what look at this man check that out and the view from here let me tell you what, the view from here is absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah. cool spot or what? I think there's raccoon and mountain lion footprints over there. Did you notice that? Where all those fish bones are and everything? No, let's see. There's some big fish over there too. I know, that's what I was thinking. Check this out guys, man. There's like fish bones all over the place over here, but uh, Jennifer thinks she's got some tracks. Let's, let's look at this. See, look at all these fish bones here, man. Some pretty big fish too. So where do you see the tracks at? So right here on oh. the water line. I'm pretty sure the ones like like the skinny little claws. Oh, I'm pretty yeah. sure those are raccoon. But then you have these other just up from it. And some bigger uh -huh, I think. paw prints here. I don't think those are dog. Those are too big to be dog. And something over there looks like it was scratching around. Maybe the I don't know. Huh. Wild. You can kind of see a little bit right here where yeah, it kind of there's a into the... kind of a print there. 
print here and then the little ones right over here and fish bones all over the place just a bunch of them what is Got that? a little crab claw come over here a second look at this over here you saw the fish and everything yeah. moms look at see the look at the paw prints right there oh my god and then by the water line those might be raccoon there with those long claws but these big old paw prints here and then look at something over here was kind of digging around or whatever yeah, I know with I their fish, fish or something there. a little bit of homeschool out in the wild and a little bit of PE too on the trail One of the woodpeckers go right in that hole right there. So they've got their home dug out right in there. I love seeing animals in their natural habitat and obviously they're quite, quite thrilled about this tree. They have holes all over it. The cool thing I've never really noticed before is that the woodpeckers, they've done their, dug their holes like in these absolute straight lines. It's amazing to me. I mean, they're not like random. They're very streamlined and there's a whole bunch of the like very tippy top close to their home. There's a ton of holes up there, up there and those look kind of random. But here down at the bottom, they're like very straight, very streamlined. It's kind of cool. Homeschool. Not a bad deal here. A little bit of PE, wildlife learning, and just going out, hanging out in nature within 15 minutes of our house. What do you think about that, Matt? It's kind of cool. Um, Dad, uh, doing filming. Are you filming? Yeah. And film class. class, too. Yeah. That's, what you That's how you do homeschool, huh? Hey, gotta use what you got. Got to take a look at the world around you. Out for the road apples. God has given us some cool stuff to be able to come out and check out, that's for sure. Love going out and checking out God's creation. Actually, that's what he's you know, one of the big things he's called us to do is get out here, go on these adventures, explore his creation, and and share it with people. So that's what we're doing. Definitely this was a really cool thing to do since um, we've just recently been talking about, you know, we have not been able to get out on adventures. We haven't been going on adventures. So today was a good thing to get out here and check out some of God's creation and just enjoy it out here. Plus <laughs> the added bonus of some homeschool stuff. This is a good day, good day. Love being out here.
Little baby alligator lizard guy. Look at that. Hey, alligator guy. Nice long tail and everything. Hey, dude. It's cool. One of the other cool things about this is that Jennifer and I, we know we have not been exercising enough and we've gotten a little older, not much, but little. And we want to be able to stay active. So one of our goals is to get in shape and be able to be more active and do more things like this. So here we go. We're getting a start now. Okay, so that was a cool little adventure, guys. So we're gonna need to do a little more of this. What do you think, guys? Yeah. Yeah, we met a local man that was saying at this uh, point down here that there's a beaver at dusk that comes out and early in the morning there are um hey i was gonna say seals it's not seals otters <laughs> river otters seals <laughs> wow i didn't know <laughs> a brain it's a terrible thing to lose anyway and um so we'll have to try to come out and in fact we realized we saw along the river in some areas where the I think they're clams or something, little freshwater clams, and a lot of them are broken open, and that's because of the river otter. So we'll have to go back to some of those places, like in the wee early morning, and see if we can um, spot them. Check some beaver. Check out some beavers and some uh, river otters. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, the cats look like they had some fun too. Okay, let's not get it all over, dude more than it is they kind of got they found the box with all the um packing stuff in it that's up on the dryer here well it looks like they just picked some out but anyway did they get the uh chicken no oh Thanks. that's a good so, thing so you know what honestly I would rather them get the packing peanuts, except it probably is not good for them to digest them. But I'd rather them, oh look, look, they're showing you. This is what we did, Dad. We got some more over here. <laughs> hey, you guys like that we got those things? Cause we got some more over here. I would much rather have them get the packing peanuts than the chicken I accidentally left in the sink. Once again, we cannot leave anything, anything, nothing, zero. Except we can leave the out. things that we might think they probably would get. Except the things we think they would get. Because we, we thought they would get the chicken, we got the peanuts, and we didn't even think about that. So they're kind of just um, telling us something. I think their feeding time is 4.30. We're home a little late, and I think they're trying to tell us something that they don't appreciate getting fed this late. Look at them go. Kitties are looking for toys. I think Polar Bear found his. Ooh, he's got a slinky. I think he's just playing with it in the box. Well, uh, well yeah, um, I kind of like playing with it in the box. That way, uh, you know, I don't have to put a back later when I feel like lumber logging, which I'm a little bit awake right now, but still I don't want to have to put it back if I'm too tired, you know what I mean? Look at these guys. Little Skittle's not doing much, but these other guys, they, oh yeah, oh sorry Blackie, didn't mean to get too close to you. She's got her cricket. We enjoy taking you guys out there with us, so we are going to plan some more trips and we're going to get out there and check it out. But thanks for hanging out with us today, guys, and we look forward to hanging out with you on some more adventures. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a old thumbs up and leave us a comment down below. Subscribe if you'd like to see some more videos. We really appreciate that, guys awesome that you guys hang out with us and do those things so anyway we will see you on our next adventure so good night guys god bless you good night guys and yeah definitely we'd love to get to know you so 
leave a comment uh, so we can say thank you for stopping by and get to know you guys better. But thanks for watching. Hope you have a great evening and we'll see you next time. We're playing. And We're playing, but they're sitting on the toy. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna Ooh. say good night, dude. Good night. Say good night to everybody. Good night. All High right. five, little skittle. Behind the cat toys. Man, polar bear is huge. He's bigger than you, dude.